You guys, I am so excited to share this recipe with you. It's so delicious. So good. Mm. Mm. Wait, you try this at home. We're gonna be making today mozza style caprezzi and panna bianco. Now what that is, is some delicious Campari tomatoes, washed, some pepper, Himalayan salt, garlic, olive oil, a rustic style bread. Oh, forgot one thing. Well, two of the most important ingredients. So you also need some burrata and some pesto. This one I picked up from Whole Foods, but you can use your favorite pesto that you like from any of the stores that you have close to you. Okay, let's get started on this dish. Start off by preheating your oven. I'm using my little toaster oven here, and I have it on the roast setting. So while that preheats, we will make the rest of the dish. We're gonna prepare the tomatoes to put in the oven. First start off, drizzle some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I like a good amount on it. Salt. Pepper. All right, time to stick it in the oven. So to prep the bread, we're gonna get some garlic. So I'm getting a handful of garlic. I'm gonna press it into a bowl. I'm gonna get a little bit more. Probably finish off the packet. So you want this bread to be very garlicky. So it's super important to have a good amount of pressed garlic. And also for the size of the bread. I'm probably only gonna use half of the loaf because it's gonna feed two people. Okay, squeeze these little babies in here. All right, I'm done with the garlic part. Uh, I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil now. I need a good amount of olive oil for this. Time to slice the bread. So, this is what I'm gonna show you. See how the bread is beautifully porous? This is gonna absorb the oil really nicely, but it's not gonna go deep into the bread that it's gonna make it mushy. Because we're gonna put this over the stove and make it crispy on each side. Let's check on the tomatoes real quick. Okay, so our tomatoes. They've been roasting for 10 minutes. You can see that there. Now we're gonna broil them. So like, cook a bowl. So let's put this on broil. Let's put it for three minutes. And we're gonna get our bread. We're gonna get the garlic and olive oil mixture. And we're gonna bathe one side. So lots of garlic and olive oil. like to coat every section of the bread. Okay, so we have that side done. Now we're gonna take this over to the stove and our salt. Grab your favorite pan or a grilling pan. So before they get on the pan, we're gonna sprinkle some salt. Here's my Him Himalayan salt that I'm gonna sprinkle on this side of the bread. Now make sure your pan is on medium heat. You don't want to burn the garlic. Turn it to the side that the olive oil and garlic is on. Now while this is doing that, we're gonna get the rest of our garlic and olive oil and put it on the sides that don't have any yet. Now the side that I just drizzled on, we're gonna add more salt. That way each side gets well distributed. 
Let's leave it for about three minutes and check back to it. Okay, let's check the other side of these beauties. Alrighty. Okay, we got toasty. Now we're gonna flip them over. That's how they should look. Nice and golden. We will come back in about five minutes. Now in the meantime, while the bread is getting toasty, we're gonna take out the tomatoes. Okay, we got nice and blistery is what we're looking for. Okay, now we're going to present this. Let's take out a spoon. So let's start off with putting the burrata on our plate. Now put the tomatoes here. Drizzle the olive oil. Pesto. All right, let's check on this. Okay, it's done. Yay. Okay, let's put this up on a plate. And now I can show you the next part. Okay, here's the final product. So we have a beautiful caprezzi with the roasted tomatoes, the pesto, and the burrata cheese, and then our garlic bread. Now let me show you how to serve it together. You get a piece of the bread. Mind you, it's hot. And then you're going to get a little bit of the burrata. Okay, you're gonna spread the burrata onto the bread, put that on there. Get some of the pesto and the olive oil, put that on there. And then I'm gonna get a tomato. Let's grab one of these babies here. I need a knife for that. Cut this, Ooh. let's cut this in half. Put it up on here, grab another one here. Grab a little bit more from another one. Okay, look at that. Here's the final product. Mm, delicious, delicious. Okay, now this is great if you have friends over or you just want a quick bite, but you want something a little more indulging and authentic. All right, let's take a bite of this. Mm. so good. I challenge you guys to go make this at home. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching Bite Me Belly.